Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So thanks to my friend Chris. In this video, I'm working on two interesting integral formulas about sequence and tangents, so stay tuned. Here's the first one. Show that integral from zero to infinity e to the power of ax plus e to the power of negative ax over e to the power of pi x plus e to the power of negative pi x dx is 1 over 2 times sequent a over 2, where a is between negative pi and pi. So what I'll be doing is to do some series expansion for this integrand in the parameter of a, and then working on some series of functions that is easier to work with, since we have this nice little tool. That is about the sequent z is pi times summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the power of k times 2k plus 1 over k plus 1 over 2 squared pi squared minus z squared. We'll be using this. So first, let me rewrite this integral. That is from 0 to infinity, then we have e to the power of ax plus e to the power of negative ax over e to the power of pi x plus e to the power of negative pi x dx. Let's work on the denominator. Let's pull this e to the power of pi x out. So it is the same as now integral from 0 to infinity still, same numerator, e to the power of ax plus e to the power of negative ax. Over, I'll be pulling this e to the power of pi x out and make your parenthesis. Then it has to be 1 now plus e to the power of negative 2 pi x. Then we have dx. Okay, so let's work this integral out. Then it has to be the same as now still this integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, then we have, if you work this fraction out, e to the power of ax plus e to the power of negative ax over e to the power of pi x out, this fraction. It should be the same as then, let me make parenthesis, then we have e to the power of, okay, now parenthesis a minus pi x, okay. That plus now e to the power of negative a minus pi x. Okay, let's close the parenthesis. Then we have this other fraction that is 1 over 1 plus e to the power of negative 2 pi x. Of course, we have dx. And for this fraction, 1 over 1 plus e to the power of negative 2 pi x, we can represent this in a series, right? So if you go ahead and do this, then this part has to be the same as summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity. Okay. Then we have alternating sign, negative 1 to the power of now k. Okay, then that times e to the power of negative now 2 pi, and then k x. Then using the summation, we can rewrite this integral. And then I'll be pulling the summation sign outside, right? So integral has to be the same as summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the power of k. That times integral from 0 to infinity, then we have e to the power of parenthesis, then we have a minus pi. And we have this term here. So that is now then negative 2 pi. Now k times s. Okay, then that plus now the second term plus e to the power of now parenthesis negative a minus pi and minus 2 pi now k times x. We have dx, right. Okay, then using this, let's keep rewriting this integral. So it has to be the same as summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity, the summation sign, negative 1 to the power of k. And for this integrand, we can directly integrate this, right? And it is easier to see that now this first term is going to be negative 1 over a minus pi minus 2 pi k. And then minus 1 over your exponent part, negative a minus pi minus 2 pi k. And I don't like this negative sign of the first term, so we can rewrite this as summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity and negative 1 to the power of k plus 1. Then we can switch this sign around. 
we have then positive 1 over a minus pi minus 2 pi k and plus 1 over negative a minus pi minus 2 pi k. Then again, the second term, we can rewrite this as now 1 over okay, negative a and minus parenthesis 1 plus 2k times pi. Okay, so we can easily see that this is periodic in A, right? So that is why we can still rewrite this as summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity. And then we have negative 1 to the power of k plus 1. Okay, then this whole thing will be the same as negative 2 times 1 plus 2k times pi. Okay, that over. 1 plus now 2k square times pi square minus is a square. Then if you rewrite this by pulling this pi outside of your summation sign, then it is the same as now then pi times summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the power of k. Okay, and then that times 2 times positive 2 because we just have negative 1 to the power of k. So positive 2 times 1 plus now 2k. Okay, that over. 4 times now 1k plus 1 over 2. Square pi square minus a over 2 square. Okay, so just only one more step. So 2 over 4 is 1 over 2. So that is why this is the same as 1 over 2 times pi times summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity. Negative 1 to the power of now k. Then we have 1 times 1 plus 2k over k plus 1 over 2 squared pi squared minus a over 2 squared which has to be the same as now then 1 over 2 times sequence of a over 2 based on this useful tool. Okay, here's the second one. We'll be using exactly the same strategy from the previous one. So we'll be working on some series of expansion for this integrand and recognize it as a function that is easier to work with and come up with the answer using this little tool about the tangent of the z. Okay, first of all, so let me rewrite this integral again. So integral from 0 to infinity, e to the power of ax minus e to the power of negative ax over e to the power of pi x minus e to the power of negative pi x dx. So we can pull this now e to the power of negative pi x out and rewrite this, right? So if you go ahead and do this, then it has to be integral from 0 to infinity still and e to the power of negative pi x. That now times parenthesis, this numerator part, e to the power of ax uh, minus e to the power of negative ax. That over your denominator is then 1 minus e to the power of negative 2 pi x. Okay, then we have dx. So working the same way from the previous one, it has to be the same as Summation from k is equal to 0, now to infinity. And then we have integral from 0 to infinity, e to the power of negative pi x first. Okay. And then now that times parenthesis, e to the power of ax minus e to the power of negative ax. Okay. That times now e to the power of negative 2 pi, now kx. And of course, we have dx after. So if you keep rewriting this, it was the same as now then summation sign from k is equal to 0 to infinity. Uh, we, have, we can pull this negative 1 sign out. So negative 1 times, if you directly integrate this, it is easier to see that it has to be 1 over negative pi. Negative pi now plus a minus 2 pi now k. For the second term is now the negative 1 over negative pi minus a minus 2 pi k. 
So still, this is periodic. So that's why now what you're working on has to be summation. Okay, summation from k is equal to zero to infinity. And then we pull this negative sign out, and we have negative 2a. That over, now 1 plus 2k squared. That times pi squared. That minus a squared. Okay, so like I said, using the same strategy from the previous one, we can rewrite this as now. Summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity. And we have, okay, negative sign multiplied to it. So it's the same as positive 4 times now a over 2. That over 4 times, let me make a bracket. Then inside we have k plus 1 over 2 squared pi squared. That minus a squared minus 4. Close your bracket. And after you cancel some terms out, it has to be the same as the summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity. And we have just the a over 2. Okay, that over now. k, so k plus 1 over 2 squared pi squared minus this a squared over 4 has to be a over 2 entire thing squared. So that's why using this little tool, tangent z is 2 times summation from k is equal to 0 to infinity, z over k plus 1 over 2 squared pi squared minus z squared. This expression is the same as the 1 over 2 tangent of this a over 2. So pretty interesting integral proof about sequence and tangents. I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.